What's up guys, this is your boy Rusian, and today we're gonna have something different, but I need to explain to you guys. No, this channel is not becoming a SEO type of channel or any of that stuff, alright? Now, this is a new year, and I'm gonna be working with a schedule to change things up, and so you guys have an idea of everything that is coming new to the channel. So while today is Thursday, YouTube Basics gonna be coming up, starting next week on Mondays. And that's a new show where I'm gonna show a couple of tricks for you guys to make whatever from home movies to some tricks on editing and stuff like that. On Thursdays, we will be running the Can I Run It series for FX processor chips. On Tuesdays, we will be having I Love Bad Movies where I make reviews of movies that maybe they got forgotten by some people here and there. Or maybe the critics just didn't like it. And on Fridays, we will be having back the veteran's point of view. Now, on the days between what I consider my chill days, i probably going to be having some uh, game streaming or some random content. And now for what you guys actually being here for, the reason for this video, tracking things on Premiere Pro. So, if you guys don't know, Premiere Pro does not have that capability. Now, there are ways for us to emulate that, and they're pretty easy, and you can do just in a few minutes. So, let's get to it. I am your boy, Russian. No, this Russian, not that Russian. And this is BND. What's up guys? So that's pretty simple. Um, so what you have to do right now is just open Premiere Pro. Uh, you're gonna choose a footage. I'm gonna choose those guys running, that couple running. Um, I'm gonna cut the footage a little bit just to make a faster explanation. So now I'm gonna copy that click. I'm gonna go to the end of the clip and I'm just gonna paste a copy of it. Now I'm gonna create a new adjustment layer and I'm gonna place on top of this second footage. I'm gonna select them and I'm gonna go and nest. So I'm going to open the nest. Uh, <clears throat> so now I'm going to grab warp stabilizer and I'm going to just change it a little bit. I'm going to cancel for a second. I'm going to leave in smooth motion, position, scale, rotation. Uh, I'm going to reduce the smoothness. Uh, you can play a little bit with that. I'm going to go to advanced. I'm going to reduce the crop. Uh, you don't have to. It's just my choice, skip at 26. And I'm gonna hit Analyze. Now that it's stabilized, I'm gonna open the nested sequence. I'm gonna remove the footage. And I'm gonna place my text here. I'm gonna put something simple. Just reduce a little bit the size. And I'm just gonna write man since I'm gonna be tracking the guy in the footage. Now I just need to check where in the footage it is. So I'm gonna place uh, the nested one on top. And well, I need to move a little bit. So you go in, you adjust your text. Now, as you notice, as I play the footage, what it's doing is every time he goes up, the text going down. What I really don't want to happen. So to be able to fix this issue, I gonna open the nested sequence and I gonna choose flip. On effects. So for that I'm gonna use vertical flip and I'm gonna place that on the text. 
Now I go back to the main footage and I'm gonna place another flip on the nested, on the nested sequence. Now it's a little bit high. But when we start playing the footage back, it's not doing that opposite effect. It's actually tracking the guy and moving that. So I just want to fix the text. I'm going to move it around a little bit. And it's perfectly tracking. And there you go. That's how you track footage. Uh, how you track text on Premiere Pro. So pretty simple, pretty quick. Um, you can do anything, you don't need to use text, you can use a PNG file or anything to track the person. And all right. All right guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, all that cool stuff. Next week I'm gonna be coming in with uh, more stuff and that's basically for people starting on YouTube or starting on editing, stuff like this. I'm gonna have a few tricks, show how to build stabilizers. I'll have a couple of tricks for guys like me. They're a one-man show uh, to emulate uh, camera movements, things like this. If you guys are starting YouTube, um, I will show you a few programs that you guys can use. Most of them are free. How to build your own gear and the difference between different types of gear. Because through the time I have on YouTube, I found out that sometimes cheap gear, like mics for example, can be better than a lot of good mics depending on the situation. So don't forget to hit that notifications bell. Let me know if you guys have any questions, if you guys would like to see anything kind of crazy. Because if I don't know, I'll figure out. Thank you guys again. I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you next time.